it's time for Perform Like a Pro. All right, guys, today we're going to take a major step in getting my house earthquake ready. We're going to be installing an earthquake gas shutoff. Uh, we got my friend Steve from Earthquake Tech out here. Thanks for coming out, brother. My pleasure, Eric. Thanks so much for having me out. All right, yeah. let's dive into this. So what are we going to do today? We're going to install a seismically actuated emergency gas shutoff valve All right. that will place between the meter on the gas line, between the meter and basically the line going inside the house. So um, we get it on the outside here so that it shuts the gas off and prevents anything from going inside and possibly leaking out after a seismic event, right? Nice. After a house has been shaking around, a yep. pipe's got loose, gonna have some gas leaks. We don't yep. want that. No. So That'd be a bad move. Right? We we put in one of these. Okay. This is called the California valve, uh, made down in California. Sweet. <laughs> um it is the vertical model. Um okay. gas flow is going up. So uh We'll put that in here, got that all set up and ready to go. Just need to goop it up and cinch it down, put it in. Okay. But um, the gig is we put that in, we brace the line as well with this bracket. Okay. So that when the house moves, it shakes this gas line, triggers this valve into closing. And so uh, this valve works by um, basically you've got a, a ball bearing okay. sitting on a little platform inside. When it shakes, the ball bearing comes off its sweet spot and activates a spring-loaded door that okay. swings down into uh, action, shuts the gas off, actually uses the gas pressure to keep it closed. So okay. it really swings up, swings whoosh, up. Nice. Gas pressure goes against it, helps keep it closed. Okay. All right. So what's our first step here, boss? We're going to turn the gas off. All right. Right here. Always turn the gas off before you start playing around <laughs> with a little <laughs> gas line, right? right? Uh, gas is off. We're going to undo um, this right at the meter. Going to pull this out of the way and start taking this out. We'll take the line out all the way up to here. Okay. And uh, put it back together. All right, let's yeah. get after it. All right, Steve, so what's our next step here? Well, I like to use a combination of uh, threading tape and pipe dope. Okay. really makes uh, keeping these sealed um, so much easier than uh, one or the other. Nice. Yeah. So I apply a little bit of tape and then uh, plenty of dope. Apply the dope fairly uh, liberally. Kind of best of both worlds, right? right? Keeps uh, keeps me out of trouble. So I start. Well, essentially, you know, I, I put mock the whole thing up, mm -hmm. and then I just start peeling it back apart, putting the the tape on the threads, and put the dope on, and put it all together. I would say we're on the home stretch, but then I'd be, uh, All right, jinx it you know, that, I'd, right? I'd be jinx. That's right. That's right. So we won't say that. We'll just say we're getting close. It's all about that next piece, right? right it is. It is. I was going to ask you, Steve, how long do these last? Are those a wearing part? Do they have a pretty decent warranty on those? Um, well, the device itself has a 30-year warranty on its right. parts. Um, it's such a simple device yeah, that there's really not much to go really wrong. Yeah. yeah. That's what's cool. Um, really, you just uh, don't want to abuse it. And if you install it correctly uh, with this brace, the brace is important uh, not just for making sure this gas line shakes when there's an earthquake, but it's also there to stiffen the line up and make it difficult to uh, induce a false trigger, right? So if you bump go. into it, it just doesn't go off. You guys, that's one of those things that uh, you can put it in and kind of just set it and forget it, and you'll be good to go. So I'm going to practice what I preach, and I'm going to open up the valve first. Okay. 
And uh, reset that. Quarter rotation. You can click. hear it click. It's green. It's open. It's a beautiful thing. And we're going to open up the gas. So I just get some on there, right? Because I'm yeah. going to come back with my swab. Schwab. Get the union, because mm -hmm. the union can be that source for that. Yep. So we're looking good. I like it. Got it. I want to hold that. You got it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got it again. Come on. So, should we test it? Let's test it. Let's see how it does. Oh, Boom. there we go. There we go. Inevitably. Nicely done, sir. Huh? I appreciate it. Thank you, Eric. Sure appreciate the time. So, if somebody wants to have this done at their house, what's the best way for people to find you? Um, best way is to call me. Okay. Right? Um, call me at 503 380 Five one five five. There we go. Um, and that's my direct line. What I'm going to ask for is a picture of this. I need to see the gas meter and the line that comes out and goes into the house. So I don't need a close up of the gas meter. I need to see the gas line so I know which model I'm going to use, what size, mm -hmm. uh, and what kind of pipe I'm going to put in there. And I can give you a quote right off of that there we go man yeah. i appreciate it and guys this is how you get your house ready and that gas line ready for the earthquake